back to the behemoth hour. We only talk about big things. So today, while I was riding my truck with the uh, the big 52 inch tires, uh, I took up a big space at the mall. I took up two spaces in my big truck. Uh, guess number one. Uh, yeah. You got some big soon uh, or recently, didn't you? I did. After 20 years at the office, I finally got the raise I needed, and I thought really big. And can you do better than a big swimming pool? I don't I, think you can. Uh, I know. Maintenance, little, it's a lot to keep up on, but it's this worth is, it. It's worth it having the big behemoth in pool. It is worth it. Thank oh, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feels right. Guess number two. What's your uh, what's your big thing that you like around here? Yeah, well, as you know, I'm a frequent uh, contributor to this program here. That's right. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm gonna be honest, I think I went a little too far this week. What? Oh, you see, yeah. I've been uh, gradually upscaling everything in my house, <laughs> going big on the big. Yeah, no, right, it, it's it. true, and it, it worked for a while. But I realized as of yesterday, I have now made everything in my house bigger, so everything just kind of looks the same now. Oh, it's it's all to start over again. It's all to scale. <laughs> yeah, but I also got my femurs extended, so like I'm the same size. It's really good. I did a lot of embiggening, but we're yeah. not really behemoth sized anymore, and I don't really know what to do with that information. Kind of a, if you'll pardon the pun, kind of a big uh, crisis. Uh. <laughs> Hey everybody! Well, welcome back to I should not have worn that. And uh, today, today is uh, today's our special talk show about a couple wardrobe snafus, times whenever you've been caught out in public in a certain dress or garb or outfit that just was not apropos for the scenario. So uh, me, I'll just uh, share my story real quick. I was uh, invited at, at a wedding. I was a uh, friend of the group, distant friend, and I made the mistake of wearing a tux. <laughs> Whoops, sent a lot of mixed signals that day. So uh, guess number one, now that uh, I got that out of the way, uh, what should you not have worn? I was invited to the Cannes Film Festival in 1985 in the uh, dress code. It's of course black tie, I wear the tuxedo, but I wear a salmon colored shirt and it's not Ernest Borgline there in the same salmon colored shirt. And, uh, <laughs> man never let me live that down. Boy. Stolen thunder. Like you and the silly groom man. Yeah. <laughs> Similar. Hey, guess the number two. What should you not have worn? Uh, well, it started off from uh, the night before. We, we did a lot of drinking and um, I passed out. Okay. So the next morning I woke up completely stark naked. Um, the only thing there was a dress from a girl that was at the party. Uh, so I decided I'll just wear that. Um, you said yes to I, the dress. Yeah, I shouldn't have worn it. Distress. I shouldn't have worn it because I kind of liked it afterward. <laughs> <laughs> Season gel as well, if you grind it down, and that's my time. And that's all the time we have today, folks! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 
We're here with the cleaning hour. Today we've done a lot of cleaning, we know. We like clean, we like clean things. Guess number one. Yeah. Where's your, your favorite room in the house that you like to clean? Oh, my favorite room, more often than not, is the sunroom. Oh, of course. Yep. Just something nice tucked away in the corner of the house. A little like, like peaceful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of often dusting. I like to change the sheets, fluff up the comforters every now and again. You see, I just got clean myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was a real treat. Guess number two. I know you like cleaning things. So I do. Um, where do you do your, your best your best work? I was uh, recently contracted to clean out a zoo. Mm. Yeah. So I haven't been getting a lot of sleep because apparently the animals just keep shitting. <laughs> And it seems like every time I make the loop to clean up all this shit, I need to do it again. <laughs> and like, the zookeepers aren't stopping them, so I guess I'm just there forever now. This um, <laughs> sounds wonderful. But I can get you guys in for half off if you want. <laughs> Good afternoon, dreamers. Welcome back to my ultimate decade. Now, the idea of today's show is to talk about the 10 year stretches of your life that was the absolute best. For me, I don't have uh, really too much to speak of, so I guess my teens were all right. So, uh, guess number two, which decade did you like best? Uh, my favorite decade is 1860 to 1870. Oh boy. No, I wasn't alive during then technically, no, but I do teach American history, so oh boy. I hate where you're going with this. No, no, okay, I get what, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking Civil War. That, that's one of the slavery decades. Yeah. And it is. I get it. Uh on the other hand, it is also when peanut butter first hit American shelves. So, you know. On the one hand, delicious lunch treat, on the other hand, two hundred years of human rights violations. So <laughs> Good with the bad, I suppose. Oh, a little bit of bad. Also cooler uh, outfits, so. Oh. Well, that's something. Yeah. Hey, guest number two. Um, I guess my favorites would have been um, between the, the, the ages of six to 16. Um, I lived oh, a, a pretty specific. Yeah, yeah. I, I lived a fairly pampered life, so like, I asked for nothing. Um, now, you know, once I reached 18, um, I was cut off completely. Um, so those were the best times because I was actually able to eat. Sad. And now they want me to get a job. Sad. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. <laughs> Magnets! <laughs> Guess number one! <laughs> Alright, so, alright, right, just man. Uh, I hate, I uh, like, I love magnets, you know, and like, I had these like round ones and stuff, so we like, we took the, uh, the tape measure and I, we took this metal and it sticks to it, right? We took it all the way down the steps, okay, to like the house, right? And then we put the magnet on it and it's just like, Ear! like super, like, nuclear fast and stuff. It was like, it was the greatest stuff I've ever witnessed in my entire life. Cool! <laughs> Magnets! Guess two! Ionic bonds. I've heard of them. <laughs> oh, sorry, Harry. <laughs> and how do you feel about that? <laughs>